I'll be right back. Um, Greg, why don't you go first with Isaiah? I'll be right back. Isaiah, what's, has anything changed for you the last four or five games in your approach or, or your comfort level or anything like that? Um, I would say just, uh, you know, my aggressiveness, you know, just being smart, you know, just knowing what to do and stuff, you know, it's finally like clicking, I guess. You know, um, staying out of foul trouble is more probably the biggest thing, you know, just me just, you know, just playing more smarter. Roy had mentioned that the first couple times you started in recent years, it was like a, a big deal to you. Mm -hmm. uh, was getting adjusted to more playing time and a starting role, did that take a little bit longer to get accustomed to? Um. I wouldn't say so, but uh, for me, it was just me just doing like stupid stuff. Like soon, I get, I pick up two quick fouls, you know, and then I have to sit down, you know, and then you know it's like me just waiting to get back in, you know, just just that part really was the the biggest thing I had to get used to. Other than that, you know, last year it felt like uh, you know other than just not starting, you know, I played a lot. It's just the fact, you know, just doing it earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Coach was just talking about how like over anxious you feel like you can't touch. Uh yeah. Yeah, it, it was a few times, you know, when I started in the past, it was just uh me getting too excited or like, you know, and a little anxiety started kicking in. It's just me just uh psyching myself out. Right. And uh yeah, so <laughs> basically that's what happened, you know. Then as soon as they uh, like experience, you know, that's all I can say, you know, it's me playing more and stuff like that, you know, then it's just not even a problem anymore. What was that just what it was? Just getting the experience? Yeah, just yeah, yeah, just getting used to it. When did you start feeling comfortable as a starter? Do you remember any particular point where like the, the nerves got more? I, I would say um, that time I started uh, at Boston College, <laughs> I think it was last year or – I think it was last year or something like that. Yes, I, I think Bryce Kennedy, yeah, they one of them had a bad practice. You know, coach was really mad, so you know he tried to uh, switch the lineups, and that's when I think me and Joel started that game, and then that's when uh, you know, I had a good game, and I was like, okay, maybe it's not going to be like the Bahamas all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but you seem like such a laid back guy. Normally, it doesn't seem like it would be in your personality to get all worked up over something like starting a game. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, I, I would say that's my biggest problem. You know, uh, for me, it was like more everything was more mental than like physical, of course. But like me, my freshman year and stuff, you know, I just I was just like a deer in the headlights. You know, I just psyched myself out of stuff. You know, it's just me just trying to figure it out. And I feel like now, you know, it's just uh, you know completely opposite. You know, and it just took me a while. You know, I was just, I would say I was just like a late bloomer or something like that. Has there been a, like a similar evolution in the course of this season? Uh, I would definitely say so, you know, of course, you know, still this is my like, first year really like, you know, starting the whole season, you know, still, you know, like can't go out there and do stupid stuff like I usually do. So now it's just like me just taking a deep breath, like, okay, you know, really, uh, you know, know when to do this, know when to do that. You know, I feel like it's finally clicking, you know, of course, and now it's kind of like sort of, you know, started in ACC play you know, after Georgia Tech, you know, I would say. Isaiah, what have you seen out of Tech that makes them a difficult matchup? <coughs> What's that? Uh, what have you seen out of Tech that makes them uh, a difficult matchup? And I guess how are you guys preparing for them? I would say um, basically uh, they don't really have like a, a big big. So it's like uh, you know me, Kennedy, Tony, and Luke um, basically guarding like all perimeter players. You know, and then I would say that that would be the difficult thing. You know, for us, you know, it's just us. You know, just playing our principles. You know. Uh, you know, take advantage of our size. You know, that, that should be a big thing. I think after Wake Forest didn't win the final, you talked about letting the play kind of come to you, not being so aggressive defensively. Have you been able to maintain that and still be effective as a defender, you feel like? Yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, I finally, you know, found a way, you know, just to, you know, play defense without, you know, giving up something or without playing too aggressive, you know, just, you know, just find, find the right level of how to play it. About a month ago, you said that 
four games, you're even starting to think about fouls and early fouls and get yourself sort of on the bench during the first half because of the fouls. Have you gotten past that? Have you moved beyond that to the point where you just went out and play and you're not thinking about the fouls? Anymore? Yeah, definitely. I think that's the biggest thing because, you know, it was me worrying about it. You know, a game is going on. You know, I can't really be thinking about that. You know, of course, you know, when that, when I get my first one, that's when I'm like, okay. You know, um, that's when I'm thinking about it a little bit. But, you know, uh, at the beginning, you know, sometimes you just got to play because, you know, you don't know which refs you're going to get that game. So, sort of just like, you know, play till the first one and then, you know, adjust. Isaiah, Roy's kind of downplayed how well you guys have rebounded. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, kind of what's his – Conversation been like with you guys about, about that? Uh, we can do better. You know, um, watching film and everything, you know, there's a lot of missed box outs. There's a lot of missed, every, like, a lot of stuff that we can do that's so t so much better. You know, Ro Coach, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm messed up. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, you know, um, he always, you know, wants us to, like, do everything, you know, best we can. You know, he see, you know, all these mistakes that we have can easily be fixed just by, you know, of course, a little bit more effort, but, little, you know, paying, paying attention to detail, you know. Uh, why not just box men out this close to you, you know, that's increase the rebounding more. Instead, you know, we let some slip away, and, you know, we still rebound good. So he look at it as like, you know, we can be even better. Is there any, motiv any motivation there that, I mean, right now you're on track to be the best, have the best rebounding margin in your school history? Is there any motivation there to to get that? I would say yeah, because you know, um, you know, to be a part of any saying like that, you know, is a good thing. So I would say, you know, for all of us, you know, especially Kennedy, you know, he, him and Luke, especially, you know, goes out there, you know, to try to rebound their best. But I would say all of us, you know, uh, we just have to you know, really just start paying more attention to details. Really, just you know, box somebody out and really go after the boards harder. Is there a figure? Should have had that you didn't have, and so what's kind of been the average the last few weeks? Um, not necessarily, but it's like um, uh, we get like uh, they rank us on a how, how we play defense, and it's like a bad defensive uh, stats, and they say miss box out, bad box out, stuff like that, and those are the things that uh, you try to fix. Like say, like he say Isaiah, you have like six bad or no box out, something like that. You know, that's, that means six opportunities I could have done, done something different. So I would say uh, those little things are something we can uh, adjust to from what they give us. How have your box out ratings been? Uh, they've been fine. Uh, I would say I'm not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Way to promote yourself there, Isaiah. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, um, I really uh, get like uh, – Two or more no box outs. That's uh, I, I try to like uh, you know whatever they gives us. You know they tell us what we have two or more, and I try to like basically you know focus on that. You know uh, say he's like Isaiah, you didn't deny like six times. You know next game I'm making sure I'm denying. You know next game I'm making sure like I fix you know what I did wrong, something like that, or try to do something better. But uh, usually I I don't really get that much no no box outs, but I do get some bad box outs. You know. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely. Because, uh, you know, uh, with the him, Coach Rob, all of them, they look at it. It's like, uh, man, you should uh, be getting 10 rebounds a game. You know, it's just me. You just got to go out there and get it. You know, it's nothing else. It's just me. How much do you hear from him about stay on the floor as a defender? Don't fight on a pump fake. Uh, a lot, a lot recently. No, I felt like uh, – you know, Luke always used to kill me with the pump fakes in practice. So I felt like I did a pretty good job, you know, uh, coming in this year, like, okay, staying down. Now it's just like everything I learned is gone. Uh, I'm jumping for everything, you know. I just need to, you know, get back to the way I was, you know, just staying on the ground, you know, uh, not go for the pump fakes because, like, uh, yeah, he's been getting on me about that too. <laughs> He probably, he probably says that, I hear him probably say that more to the perimeter guys even than the bigs. <laughs> He talks truth. to the perimeter guys about how many shots have you actually blocked in your life versus how many times a guy's driven, right? Yeah, that's true, that's true. So when he was talking about that, I was thinking a lot of times Joel and Justin and Kenny and Nate and Theo, he, that, that's something he talks to them about a lot. 
how has your mindset during a game changed since your freshman year in coaching wise? Like, are you thinking about these things while you're playing, or is it solely just the experience at this point? Honestly, that's what it is. You know, it's, it's the experience. You know, um, it's like programming me. I would say, you know, uh, you know, we work on stuff like shell drill and stuff. You know, a lot of that is just, you know, just experience. Just did it alone, like did a lot. So it's now just, I'm just doing it. You know, don't really have to think about it. So with that being said, how do you change your mindset to box out more or not jump or do things like that? Um, you just have to, uh, I would say, just be more into the game. You know, I would say uh, the more effort you put in, like uh, if you're playing a game with, with a lot of effort, like take Luke, you know, uh, when you see Luke out there, he's playing hard. You know, Luke tries to box out everybody. You know, he goes to the ball hard. And, you know, when you see somebody's doing that, you know, they're really giving a lot of effort. So it's just all about, you know, effort is the biggest thing. Anybody else? All right, thank you. Thank you. Yep.